Doug had these guys ready to play. And, you know, like off the rip, when you, when you played them at home, Houston scripted the fuck out of you, man. It was like from, from the outset and with no run game. These guys were tearing you apart. And the offense had problems and that sort of thing. We'll talk about that. They got it fixed. But giving them the breathing room out of the gate, three punts, big deal for the, for, for, for the Jacksonville defense. And you're talking about great effort throughout the game. There was that near goal line stand in the second half on that Stroud touchdown. The first two plays, including the touchdown, looked like people were playing for their lives. Mm-hmm. Like, this is a, a rivalry, man. This is a, this is a division rivalry that has popped up. Yeah. <laughs> And it is after Thanksgiving now, and these two teams are playing for their playoff lives in the same division. And it's not just the, like, who's getting in the playoffs this year. You don't want to be Jacksonville losing twice to this rookie quarterback saying, fuck, no matter what we do this year, this guy's always here. Mm -hmm. And you thought you had the generational guy. You thought you had the generational guy. Well, look who's got the generational guy. Now. (laughs) So they got the generational guy. (laughs) And, you know, I thought the defense was great. And people didn't like – you know, people didn't like that 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 end of half call from Doug. You know, at the goal line, whether better play, they like a better play call. But I think in the second half, the Jags kind of outcoached these guys. I think the Jags had a, there were a couple key moments where whether it's you know Ryan's using a timeout due to a twelfth man on special teams and not being able to have that one later, or you know midfield end of third. They decided to heat up Stroud. That was a really good decision. They didn't really have a great hot option. Um, they had one dude on the right, but I, I don't think you could see him. So that was a big decision. And then the biggest one to me was, and other people feel me on this, third and one, you're down 10. You're chasing two scores. You're at midfield. You, you decide to drop back and pass. Okay, I don't love that. You know, I'm conservative, Chris. But the second down on fourth and, on fourth and one, you, 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 you pass again. And, you know, like, that's just not one you can get back. You know, if, if you get that, if you get a field goal out of that thing, different game, right? So I, I didn't like that. And then at the end of the game, Josh Allen, who really took this game over, two sacks in that final drive. And Houston's really good at overcoming, being behind the sticks. They overcame second and 25. But the second time, it's second and 19. It's third and 12. Kyle, it's third and 12. Time's running out. This kicker's never made from this distance. Instead of taking a profit, and you've got people running on the field, and Jacksonville's kind of out of sorts. Bro, the slot receiver wasn't even aligned. Just the slot fucking, receiver wasn't even set, and they didn't call it. Well, and that's all fine and good, but they, they ran the play. I'd like to get the ball out on the perimeter on a smoke or something or take that off coverage and pick up five, seven yards because that's the difference in Amendola making that kick. thousand percent. And so instead, you have hero ball with, with, with C.J. Stroud, and he can't take a sack. It's a bad spot to be in. So I didn't like some of the situational football from the Texans late in the game. But they are a young team with a young quarterback and a young coach. They're going to be fine. Um, wrong, Josh Allen was great. That free runner sack, that's one of the most difficult plays in football. I wanted to shout him out. But who I want to shout out is Trayvon Walker. And he's taking a lot of shit. Sacks aren't everything. But right now, you know, people are always comparing him to Hutchinson. He's not Hutch. Okay. But what he is, is he can play with a lot of effort. And if he, if he figures out how to play with power, he can be a plus. And um, I think sack-wise, he's right there with him. Now, they look way different than Hutch's plays. But I, I thought it was encouraging. The first drive, okay, it's third and nine, C.J. Stroud. Now, you want to get off to a good start. You're at midfield. Stroud breaks the pocket. Some guys are changing speeds. Trayvon tracks him from the left end to the right <laughs> sideline and makes the play three yards short of the sticks. Mm -hmm. He's going to get that first down. These are little hidden plays in the game that I think Trayvon Walker should be commended for, including Josh Allen, one of his sacks. If Trayvon doesn't come in there and snap that fucking center's head back on a mixer, which is an ET and a T to Mm -hmm. different sides. The old mixer. The balance-up guy on an end around the tackle has to balance up. And, And if you can do it violently, even better. Man, when I say he used that center's carcass, to catapult Josh as Allen. As a wet ball. He used that as the wall, like a parkour surface for Josh Allen to accelerate off of. And and so when you look at one guy getting a sack, it's always more than just that one guy. And Trayvon Walker deserves some, some love. I thought Josh Allen was great, but Trayvon played well too. Um, I just want to say this, and I, I didn't do this in America's team, Kyle. Um, are the Texans like this generation's Cowboys if we look up in five, seven years? Because they look fucking sick in all red. They have the coolest young quarterback. <laughs> they have Tank Dell, D'Amico Ryan, no, Paul Wall. I think like, the masses, they're, 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 they're going to like it. 
Like, I don't think it's going to get as much. I know, but people like Dallas in the 90s. The point is, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. going to look up Are in 15 years. Are we in the moment years. where we like them? Uh, yeah, we are in the moment where we like them. And then in 15 years, it's going to be like all my kids' friends are, Texans are going to be fans. Texans fans. They're going to be like those Cowboys people that have the flags on their cars, you know, in some dy- no, Mah- dystopian This is future. the Mahomes effect, the yeah. Steph Curry effect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's a reason that C.J. Stroud says after a game where he has a couple turnovers, he's like, Steph Curry doesn't blink. He just keeps shooting. And I'm like... Kids love that. They relate to that. Yeah, they're gonna love this team, bro. Yeah, uh, like all I'm it's saying. It's a great point. It's a fun, exciting team, even a loss. And him and Tank are buddies. He stood on the table for him after CJ got drafted. He was like, "You got to get Tank Dell." I just want to say this though, Trevor Lawrence not perfect. This was a big spot for him, and you know, especially with Cam Robinson going down, Walker Little moving out the left tackle, Ezra who who they traded for pops in the lineup. Um, they they made the plays they had to. You know, Ridley Kirk. Um, they dropped some balls. Yeah, this, this thing's been a work in progress all year. But I thought they, in a divisional game, for the offense to jump out like that, that was the key on the road to get a lead like that. It just changes the tone of the entire game. And I thought this was a really, really uh, kind of bookmark win that they can kind of hang their hat on for, for the Jags and go back to it and say, hey, guys, we did that in Houston. Like, we've done this stuff. They, they're a team that has – been the last few years they're a talented underdog and they're the future's bright you know for the jaguars and they had to play from behind and rely on trevor lawrence now you have to learn how to play with a lead yeah if you want to be a team that's gonna you know make a statement and make a run in the playoffs you have to win games but you have to know how to play with a lead and they're in the infant stages of that but to your point it's a huge win against a really hot team and they finished 